Ducky Mechanical Keyboards had originally done a Ducky One Too Mini Frozen Llama, but this is their Mecha Mini, and I got it because I needed a refresh from my One Too Mini. A key. Let's open it. I pre ordered this. When did I pre order this? September. Right at the beginning of September. And it is now October 9th. So, not a bad wait time. I ordered it with Cherry MX Browns, because that was the quickest it could get here, but something really exciting. Wow. Wow. You're kidding me. That has such a great feel to it. Fucking sexy as hell. Wow. Are you kidding me? Wow, the browns sound amazing on this. I'm super surprised by that. So, a little bit about this keyboard. So it's a cast aluminum frame that just has a fantastic weight to it as opposed to the one too many. Not sure how well my phone's going to pick up that, but it feels and is so much more sturdy than the one too many. The oof. Wow, that's super nice feeling. That's awesome. I love that. Let's see what else is in the box. I mean, I know what's in the box. But... Ducky's instructions in the back here. Be the cable, some extra keycaps, and a key puller. Nice, simple, white cable. Cap puller. Ten additional PBT double shot keycaps. Can get a better look at those later. At least they're not in the packaging. Another space bar with shine through clouds. Let's take that out. That looks super cool. There we go. Here's a better shot of space bar, extra space bar. Additional keycaps, llamas, llama head, llama, mechanical keyboards, um, symbol, ducky symbol, a bunch of cool stuff. So, what I'm really excited about this is that I don't like MX Browns. And with that being said, I have. Gator on yellows for it. Now, I was in the process of lubing all these. I wanted to have them ready by the time it got here, but I made the mistake of ordering 
milky yellows with the black back. So what I'm actually going to do is take the switches from my ducky and use the backs with the gator on yellows and then they'll be shined through. So first things first, let's start getting the keyboard taken apart. Oh, what I also forgot to mention, we'll move the key out of the way for a second before I move into taking it apart. Man, the weight of that is just fantastic. I absolutely love that is this, which I already shot some video on, so I might clip it in, but yeah, cause I have a better unpacking of this, but from Zap Cables, I got a custom USB cable for this keyboard here. And as I said in the other videos I made, I love Zap, everything they do. And it matches so well, if you ask me. If you guys are interested in a Zap cable or a ducky board or this board specifically, I'll have links to everything in the description. Um, the Gator on Yellows I did get on from a user on Reddit. Uh, there's a lot of good resources on Reddit for mechanical keyboards, which I can post, but oof, yes, I like that already. Let's just plug her in here just for examples. And I'm already super psyched about that. Yeah. That's pretty. All right, let's get it taken apart. Get it in focus here, move this. So in retrospect, I should probably use the ducky keycap puller, but I have one that I like better, to be honest. So if I can find it, I'm gonna use it. Here she is. All right, let's get to it. So I'm doing this, I guess I wanna talk about why I decided to do what I'm doing. So number one, I love Ducky. I know everyone has their opinions, but I think Ducky makes really great products. Um, if you're looking to get into mechanical keyboards, I think they're a great entryway. Um, I haven't got crazy into a lot of custom mechanical keyboards. Um, I definitely would like to, but I haven't really decided on it any avenues of what I would like to see in my own 60%, but I knew I wanted a 60% with Gator on yellows. And one night I was putting together my first custom and I came across this and I said, you know what? I like it too much. I'm gonna pre-order it and I'm gonna put Gator on yellows in it. And here we are.
Alrighty, and there you have it. Here is the Ducka Mecca Mini. Ducky Mecca Mini. Key, back, key caps. Jesus, can't talk completely off. Now I'm going to loosen. I can show it. Screw there. There. In the middle here. One there, there, and there on the right to take off the PCB frame and keycaps. And just like that, we have freed the PCB from the case. Lift it up from the front, slide it out. Oh, look at that. I didn't know that this had that. This is probably just to make it sit a little better. That'd be my assumption. Wow, look at the internals of this case. That is amazing. Listen to that. Would have liked to have seen him spray it all the way, but not the end of the world, for sure. Regardless, we now have our PCB, our switches, and our frame. And in order to get these switches off, we have to desolder all these pins, which is just going to be so much fun. So again, without further ado, let's get into it. And with a mess, we finally have our plate, which, wow, is also super sturdy, just like the case is. Love that. Stabilizers or stabs. All around. I decided to stick with the uh, original duckies. And then our ducky RGB PCB. So the next step, is going to be taking all of these switch bottoms and putting them with all the parts to the Gatoron yellows. All right, so unfortunately I've been shooting this video in bits and pieces uh, and I apologize for that, but um, at the point now where I am just lubing the switches I've taken the bottoms of the um, Cherry MX Browns and the tops of the Cherry MX Browns and I am putting in the internals of the Gator on Yellows, which is the spring and the, oh my gosh, I'm forgetting the name of this, but yes, that is the process right now. Almost finished with these 50. So here it is, the Ducky Mecca Mini with Gatoron slash Cherry Yellows. <laughs> 